I recently had the honor to speak with Dr. Aditi Narayan, our new Vice Dean for Medical and Health Professions Education for the School of Medicine. Together, we discussed her vision for the future of learning across all health professions at Duke. Aditi, thanks for joining me today, and I've so enjoyed working with you and learning from you in medical education, but now you're kind of at the top. So how did you incorporate that into your career goals? Yes, well, first of all, I'm really, really excited to be able to serve in this role for Duke University School of Medicine. It's an incredible opportunity to be able to work with the medical and health professions programs that we have. The reason that I went into education is the reason that I went into healthcare in the first place. It's all about the patient and their family and our communities. And as a physician, I feel that I can do a good job in caring for our patients and advancing their health care and improving their lives by serving people one on one. But the opportunity to train a generation of students to become outstanding health care providers is an opportunity to actually transform health care. And so being able to use patient centered medical education throughout every single decision that we make is what drives me to do the work that we do every day. I love that focus because it brings you back to what our goal is ultimately. Absolutely. As I tell our students and our faculty and staff, every single curricular and programmatic decision that I make, I first have to think about the patient and their family. That comes first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Being able to create an outstanding student experience is what allows us to be able to achieve that expectation. So you're not only vice dean for MD program, you're vice dean for all the health professional programs, occupational therapy, physical therapy, PA, and several others. So you both have to recognize the unique strength of those programs, but also build an umbrella that ties it all together. So how do you balance that? Well, being able to serve in that role across our health professions programs is what really drew me to wanting to be in this role here at Duke. In order to provide outstanding patient care to patients and their families and their communities, we have to do so as a team. There's a role that physicians play, there's a role that PAs play, there's a role that OTDs play. And in order to really fulfill the holistic needs of a patient in their community, we have to be able to bring and leverage the strengths of all of the different disciplines that we have here at Duke. So let's talk a little bit about innovation. Yeah. Um, education is not static. It changes all the time, you know, bringing in new concepts like team-based learning. And now we're, we're facing what could be the most disruptive opportunity yes. in education, which is AI. So how are you approaching the, the bringing in the innovation, but making sure you also stay focused on the ultimate goals of what you're trying to do? It's all about the patient. And so whenever we think about how do we incorporate AI and innovations into healthcare, we have to think about how will it actually improve the experience of our patients and improve their outcomes. So the work that we've done continues to center that in all of our decisions. We have collaborated with our School of Nursing colleagues mm -hmm. to develop a uh, proposal for a foundational interprofessional AI curriculum for our students to really make sure that we are all on the same page about the foundations of AI, the importance of ethical information and data that goes into any AI models, the role and the professional responsibility of healthcare providers in utilizing that data. We have also been collaborating across Duke, and I think this is what makes Duke a really special place, is that we have outstanding experts in so many different areas. So we've worked with our health system leaders, our um, uh, IT leaders, in order to develop large language models to be able to abstract really important information from the notes that our students write about their own patients for whom they care and be able to identify ways for them to improve and uh, grow in the work that they do. At the end of the day, our uh, graduates have to be able to have outstanding medical knowledge outstanding ability to engage effectively with a diverse group of patients. We have to be able to communicate empathically and clearly, and we also have to be able to talk about science. Um, and all of those key tenants will remain whether or not we have technology. Our responsibility is to use technology to enhance all of those four tenants. What do you find that's so great about Duke? There's so many things that make Duke an outstanding place to be. And the part that um, I'm most proud of that makes me really want to stay here is our students. We have yeah, so, they're exceptional. they're exceptional. We have so many challenges happening in our world right now. And yet we have this group of students who are coming in and are saying yes to addressing these challenges. They know firsthand how hard it is right now. It is hard to be a healthcare provider. It is hard to be a leader. It is hard to be a change agent. And these are young people who are coming in 
ready with their passion, with their ideas, with their creativity and their values, and reminding us all of who we want to be and who we were when we first started entering into health professions. So often I get the question, aren't you seeing a drop off in interest in medicine <laughs> given all the challenges? We have not seen that. Not at all, no. not at all. We continue to have an outstanding group of applicants that are interested in coming to our education programs here at Duke. Um, across our clinical training programs, our master's programs in, in healthcare, we also are very um, fortunate to have a lot of our students who continue to be interested in being researchers and being scientists. And um, that also gives me a great deal of hope for our future. At the end of the day, it's the people that make Duke the great place that it is. Absolutely.